so tonight uh, I was on my way home. I had the kids out and everything, and my uh, mom in the car, and uh, I got stopped. And uh, for traffic uh, speeding, thirty over. And uh, wow. Anyways, uh, the well, the uh, the man asked for uh, where he came up to the car and everything. Or come up to the car and he says, uh, "Can I have your license, registration, and ownership?" And I said, uh, "I said, is that in order?" Or I said, first of all, I said, before we get started here, I said, can I have a business card? And he goes, that's not how it works here. And I said, well, no. I said, okay, fine. And uh, so he's like, my mom's like getting the ownership and the registration ready. And I said, uh, for my license, I said, is that an order? He says, no, I demand your license. I said, no, is, is that an order? He's like, no, I demand it. I said, is that an order? And he's like, well, like, what are you talking about? What, what's the difference between a demand and order? I said, well, uh, first of all, I said, um, you take orders, but what you're told to do every week, and I said, you get paid. I said, I'm only willing to give you my license if you're going to order me to do it. And I said, that way I can get paid. He's like, mm, okay, it's an order. I order it. Okay, well, fine, thank you. So then uh, <laughs> when he came back to the car, I called him, man. He said, hey, man, how are you doing? And it struck him off guard. And he's like, what? And I said, I said, uh, you, well, you're a man. I'm a man, right? It was, yeah. I said, okay. Well, actually, sorry, in, in between that, too, um, so there was a first car that stopped, and then another car stopped behind him. My mom gave him a, a uh, registration or something like that that was from the previous owner. So anyways, uh, she found something and gave it to him, and then she actually found the, the true one, I guess. So I grabbed it, and uh, I went back to the, the, the car, the cop's car. And it was the second officer was leaning in the window talking to the guy. I said, oh, I said, uh, I said, I think this is the right ownership that, that he probably wants. And I said, maybe you can, you know, give it to him. And so this was the secondary officer that was there, uh, the second man, right? And uh, he goes, oh, okay, thanks. He says, I'll give it to him. And I said, who are you, by the way? And he goes, uh, I'm Officer or uh, Constable Tripp. I said, what? He says, uh, he, he tried to light on his badge. He tripped. Uh, oh, okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. I said, uh, and then he, he handed it to him and he says, I just suggest, you know, you go back and wait in your car. And I said, uh, you know, thank you very much. I'll do that. It's no problem. I said, but uh, I just need to know that, you know, you'll be a witness of mine. And uh, he walked away. He's like, yeah, well, whatever kind of thing, right? So um, then when he uh, gave, me the, gave me the ticket, He's explaining. He says, "Have you had a ticket in a while?" I says, "No." I said, "You know, not not a long time, man." Eh? And he says, "Okay." So um, then he explained the whole ticket about the process, and I had 14 days or 15 days to pay it and everything else. And uh, you know, I, I I took the ticket from him. He goes, "He goes, you've been served." I said, "Oh, okay. Well, thank you very much." Actually, yeah. And um, and I said, "So what you're saying is I I have three days to refuse this this ticket, this contract." He goes, no, only you have 15, 14, 15 days. And I said, oh, okay, all right. But uh, back when he was asking, you know, the order about the license, and I said, is there anything, you know, and I was quite cordial, very nice. So, and he says, that, you know, the order thing. And I said, you know, is there any other orders that you wish? I mean, I'll I'll, I'll take orders all day. But, um, you know, I've got no problem with giving, you know, taking taking orders. So, anyway, that, that's pretty well the, the whole situation, how it went. My mom was, like, shitting her pants and, you know, I'm sure she's downstairs praying for me right now. And uh, she says, you know, he shouldn't be like that. He says, she says he was a very nice guy. And I said, yeah. I said, you know what? I totally respect him. She was like, no, you didn't. I said, what are you talking about? I said, I didn't say anything to me. I just asked, is it an order? I asked very politely um, and all this other stuff. And I said, you know, there's absolutely nothing that I find that I did wrong. You know, and I, oh, that's the other thing. He says, oh, oh sorry, to, to go back, he says, um, he says, you realize you were going at 90 or uh, 130 or 120 or whatever over in a, in a 90. And he says, you know, this is a 90? And I said, no. I said, I have no idea. And then, uh, sorry, because after the first, first time he came, I'm sorry, I'm split my story up a bit, but he took the ownership from the previous owner, and then he ended up coming back and asking for it and everything, uh, you know, to, to change it. And uh, I said something, and, I said, you know, just so you know, all I'm doing here is just going from point A to point B. And uh, he's like, okay, you're speeding. And I said, well, I'm just going from point A to point B. That's it. You know, so 
I'm gonna have to uh, do a little bit of dis- discovery and get a find out what the, the whole story is and what his uh, what what he's written down about uh, our conversation or and uh, getting a, a recording of the conversation if they do record. Just go back in within three days and give him a ticket. You gave him a mean error. I was not operating under the license at the time. I was stopped. Yeah, and I, well, I said to him, I said, to him, I, say that I, I, I was just in, I was just, you get this, basically say I was in lawful possession of my property, and I was just taking my property from point A to point B. And well, uh, I, don't believe, I don't believe, and I don't believe that uh, any man has got to, any man is going to come forth and make a claim that I've done anything wrong, that any man is going to be claim that I've made a harm or a trespass upon his property while I was, you know, taking my property from point A to point B. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I, I was uh, I was a little bit yeah, up. Yeah, what I'm and, just saying is basically, you're basically saying, but you put down in there, if there is a man, please let me know immediately. Please let him bring his claim forth immediately because I've yet to see a claim of a wrong because I want to compensate him way before we get this into a public forum. Right. Well, I... I, I did say, I did say, like, when he said, you know, I'm just going from point A to point B, and I says, I don't think I did anything, anything wrong. I actually did say that. I don't think I did anything wrong. He's like, but yeah. you were speaking. I said, but I don't, what, what did the I big, do? The big thing you got to say is I was in my property. Right. Well, it was actually my mom's. Well, it's, it, it, he has, you have more of a vested interest, and your mom drops dead and dies in tenths, tenths of a second. Believe me, yeah. it's your property now, ain't it? Yeah. You have a vested interest in it, believe me. It's more your property than anybody else on planet Earth other than your mom's. How's that? Right. Yeah, and she, and she didn't dispute that. It was, she wouldn't dispute that it was your property. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I I thought I covered a lot of the bases, but yeah, of course. Oh, you did. You covered a lot. <laughs> Next time you should have it in writing and just hand it to them. Yeah. Well, I didn't have a paper in my, in my book. The only thing no, my, my mom had that. Uh, sorry? No, I'm just saying it's nice if you had something already in writing that said that, oh, uh, license you. Hang on a second. Here, I got something for you. And hand him the piece of, hand him the document that says all that shit. Yeah. Yeah, we got to have off the document. No way you got to do it on the side of the road, and then he's going to call the supervisor, and you say, you know what? If, if I was you, I'd get a hold of somebody in the legal department as well mm-hmm. before you contract with me. I think you should read this. And as a matter of fact, if you got a, somebody on legal, on staff, on call right now, I recommend that you call the legal department. Right. Before you, before you do something that, uh, you know, you might regret later. Mm-hmm. Something just not nice. Well, I, I, think, I think at the beginning, by asking if it was an order and everything else, I pretty well gave him fair, fair warning. Is that not right? Yeah. Well, like I said, you know, like I said, he really doesn't, he, uh, obviously, he doesn't understand what order meant to, to that level. Some do. Mm-hmm. Fuck no, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I said, when I when, like I said in the United States, when a black guy actually a guy in um, New York City, New York City cop, you know, is, is that an order for us to stop playing basketball and go home? The cop said, absolutely not. I'm not ordering anything from you, from you kids. Yeah. So he yeah, knew better. Not dancing from the yeah. kids. He's like, I ain't ordering a damn thing from you kids. Mm-hmm. The cop knew oh. better. He's, a New York City cop is trained better, obviously, to know what a word or an order means. Mm-hmm. Well, I'd ask him, like, so I said, uh, where, where's your office? And he's like, uh, what, you mean detachment? I said, well, an office, I guess you're giving, you you have a business card, right? Oh, well, I did ask for the business card, and he's right at the beginning, he's like, well, we don't do it that way. And then when I, you know, kind of came back to the car and, you know, told me about uh, what, how long I had to pay and everything else. I said, can I have your business card? And he says, no, he says, I gave it to the last person or, or you know, whatever. Oh. I, said, I said, really? He says, what, do you carry your business cards around? I said, when I'm working, I have a business card and I use it. But I said, I'm not, I'm not in a business. So, yeah. you know, there's no need for me to carry it around, but you are. And I said, I'm asking for it. And, and, and now you're telling me that you don't have any. You gave them away. I said, okay. Yeah. I said, so, so, where do you, where's your office? He goes, what detachment? I said, well, whatever. I said, it's an office, isn't it? And he's like, yeah. Well, so, how, hey, say, how am I going to deliver my answer upon you? You're the one making a complaint. You're the one who said I did something wrong, correct? He's like, yeah. Well, then, you're the one who's going to have to prosecute this in court. 
you're the one who's going to be moving this complaint against me. Right. So I want to properly answer you. You know, I want to answer you before we go to court. I want to try to settle this way before we go into a courtroom. Right. So I, I said, because uh, you don't, don't be feet. Right, that's why it's important to have their business card. That's why it's important. It's yeah. like, you want to contract with me? How can I contract with you? How can we negotiate the contract if uh, if I want to change the terms and conditions of the contract? How am I going to get a hold of you? Mm-hmm. You know, you got to give me some way that we can communicate with you. Right. I asked for the uh, the prosecuting attorney or whatever. I said, well, do you know what his name is? And he goes, no, no, there's there's a bunch of them anyway. So I said, okay. And I said, so. Yeah. I said, I said. Well, no, he's going to. No. The cop's going to be the one who's prosecuting. He's the one who's going to. And if you say no, I'm just going to bear witness that you did something wrong. And he said, okay, so did wrong to who? Mm-hmm. You know, who, who, to whom did I do wrong? And he's going to be like, well, you breached a contract. You have an agreement to do a certain thing a certain way. And I'm the policy enforcement officer, and I'm the one who determines that you're in breach of the contract. So you've got a contract between you and the Department of Motor Vehicles up here, and you're in breach of contract. It's like, no, I was not operating on the license at the time of the stop. I got no breach of a contract. Yeah. He's like, but you do have a license, absolutely. Was I using it at this time? No, absolutely not. Exactly. Yeah, but see, that's what I'm saying. That just confuses the shit out of him. Yeah, I could see he wasn't quite getting it, but uh, when I yeah. got him to... Uh, like I said, in order that's, where you, that's, that's, why you have, that's why you tell him, look, you know what? Just where you write something down like that, and you tell him, look, man, you know, you know, go get a legal department. Go get the legal... You know, call up somebody legal. You know, if you want to renegotiate this, you know what? Get in touch with me. You know, run the right to take it, fine. You know what? You want to... You wanna, Withdraw, that's fine. You know, get in touch with me. Here's my address. You know where I live. You know, write me a letter. Just tell me you want to stop this, and we'll we'll, we'll forget all about it. Right. Put it, put it back in his lap. Yeah. Sounds nice. I can I can write a, gen, a nice nice genuine uh, grandma letter to him. Yeah, but like I said, that must have been interesting. Like I said, it's funny. When a cop knows what you're doing and doesn't know what you're doing, it's just a lot of fun. It depends on what you're dealing with. Yeah. Well, he was he was a super nice guy. I mean, uh, you know, and my mom's like, oh, yeah. he was really nice. I said, yeah, he was really nice. And she's like, why are you doing this? I said, I do it because I believe in it. And I said, you know, yeah. whether you do it or not, that, that's fine. But, you know, this is my belief, and, uh, you know, you're not going to force your belief on me. This is what I've been, you know, learning, and this is my belief. So she's like, yeah. okay, because, you know, when I'm asking about an order and everything, she's got her elbow, she's like fucking yabbing me. Like, <laughs> like Mom, you know, just calm down. Like, forget about it. I said, this is where we're the side of the road and talking nice to the guy. I'm not doing anything mean, you know. <laughs> Genuine. I, I, it, was just like horse, it was just like horse and buggy days. At one time, seven miles an hour was the speed limit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, and like you said to your mom, you know, at one time, you know, this was considered fast, well, how fast I was going. But, you know, I was in total control of the vehicle at all times. The vehicle kid is capable of doing it. And, uh, you know what, I caused no harm in what I was doing. Yeah. It's nice that they're, you know, making sure I wear my bicycle helmet. It's nice that they're making sure I got my seatbelt on. It's nice to make sure that I got a roll cage in the car. It's nice to know, you know, they got my space suit on, you know, but uh, I don't need it. I don't require it as a man to go from here to there. But it's nice that they got these, you know, policies officers out here. They got mommy out here making sure I'm doing the right thing. But you know what? At this time, I'm a man and I don't need mommy. I got this. And, she, you know, they could be like, no, 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 you know, if he doesn't do it, you know, you could have got hurt. You know, good thing he stopped you, you know, it'll slow you down from now on. And then you say to them, say, well, wait a second. What if I was doing a speed limit? And I tracked the trailer, came across the road. And I would have been a mile further back, and I would have got hit by that tractor trailer. Yeah. You never know. It's, it's, it's all fate. That's right. It's like they say, if you, make up, if you walk out of your house, 
and you decide to go left today instead of right, you might have a whole different life. You don't know. Just because I was speeding doesn't mean I was going to get hurt. 